Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you my little hairstyle I usually like to do and I want to look a little funky so my hair can like go in my outfit a little bit. So today I'm going to show you a Bantu Knot crown. This is super duper cute guys. Like it's a little edgy but I mean who doesn't want to have a little fun with their hair. So first I like to section off the first portion of my hair. The back is just an old wash and go. And so I'm just going to section a square, just a medium sized square so I can put my bantu knot in the middle of my head. You can also put a middle part and do the bantu knots on the side if it's more comfortable for you. But I usually do it in the middle just to, you know, have something different, you know. And plus I kind of think I look like a unicorn. I don't know why. kind of makes me happy. <laughs> um, now I'm going to use the Eco Styler Gel because you know that's like my favorite, favorite gel in the world. Um, I like to put that portion around the areas of the square and then I like to use my toothbrush just to slick everything down so when I do the bantu knot it's gonna look all nice and sleek and make the style look more put together. Now when you do the bantu knot do not twist too tight at the beginning because it's going to tighten up once you go around a couple times and if you do it too tight you're gonna want to take out this hairstyle immediately. I know I'm not the only one who sits there and if their head hurts I promise you I will take them out and enjoy my rest of my day but after I do that I like to section out the other part and these are like medium to large sizes you can always do smaller ones but I usually do this so I won't take up too much time and so now I'm just brushing that with my toothbrush make sure everything's all slick and then I'm gonna do my edges afterwards but right now I'm just slicking it down so I can have a good base I did braid my hair at the top overnight so I could just easily take them out and detangle. But you can also do this on an old wash and go like I did in the back. Now that we did that, we're almost done. This is the last one and I like to just slick that down. When you do your bantu knot, make sure you're twisting it in the position that you want it to be so if you want in the middle twist it in the middle because if you do it on the side your bantu knot will be hanging and I don't think you want that unless you're going for that style then by all means girl get it so now I'm just twisting and twisting um, at the end one of them did get loose so I just tied a little like scrunchie around it but you couldn't even tell because it was black so if yours keep on coming in loose just tie a little scrunchie around. Now I just took out my headband in the back and I'm just going to shake out my hair but I'm not going to leave it like this I promise you. Now I'm just going to do my edges and um, I'm a big fan of baby hair. I don't know if you guys are. If you are, by all means, girl, slay your baby hairs. If you not like this, you could have just leave it, leave it, leave it. You could just leave it like it was before. Now I'm just gonna slick it and I'm just gonna swoop it. You know, you can also do one of those like waves baby hairs. I just didn't have time to do all of that because I get frustrated with my baby hairs at times, so. I'm just gonna do all of that and then make sure you slick your sideburns I don't know about anybody else but slicking my sideburns just makes me so happy now I'm just gonna take the end of the concentration nozzle on the blow dryer and I'm just gonna put that to my roots so it won't be as shrunken up because it was kind of shrunken up when I took it out of the scrunchie so I'm just gonna do that and pull on my hair Guys, I know I do this at the end of every video, but this looks so good. Like, this goes with every outfit that I have. But thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment below anything that you're interested in me filming. I am so open. I usually read all you guys' comments, so I would love to hear the ideas that you would want me to show you on my channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later in my next video.